Hey guys, here's my take on a Paladin build. Stat line, which is largely because of this weapon choice that I have, is 50 Vigor, 20 Mind, 30 Endurance, 34 Strength, 50 Dex, and 25 Faith. Uh, Paladin buffs themselves and their allies, and when it comes to which incantations to use to buff yourself, the bread and butter is Golden Vow and Blessing Spoon. This increases your attack, your defense, and makes you regen health. You can bring another small heal with you. Uh, and then Flame Grant Me Strength is really raises your attack power, but it's a very brief. It's a very brief time. So it's kind of like if I'm going into a boss room, maybe I stack that up. Uh, and then on, in addition, you could top this off with uh, either Magic Fortification or Flame or Lightning or Divine. Whichever the boss is trying to smoke you with, you can make yourself a bit stronger defensively against that should you choose. My stat line is to use the Golden Great Shield. I think that obviously that's kind of the paladin looking shield. And it's one of the best shields in the game. And then we use the Claw Mark Seal whenever you're doing a Strength faith hybrid build it's going to be the best unless your faith starts to reach kind of outrageous levels and then you could consider consider changing that armor is just fashion paladin-esque fashion for charms i'm using Erd Tree's favor and great jars arsenal to raise equip load a guard counter enhancement and i in testing the old lord's talisman for a build like this i think it's absolutely mandatory it raises uh the buffs by about timing for about 23 to 24 percent so your blessings will go from about a minute and 20 to a minute and 45 seconds which is super significant uh, if, you, if you're playing some a paladin buff buff yourself and your homies type build the sword i'm using is the god slayer's great sword it is a colossal sword despite having great sword in the name uh, i really really like this weapon uh, oh, and obviously if you're using something like a Claymore, which you might consider like a traditional Paladin weapon, you could use any weapon you want with this. Um, you may you may decide to, to fire on a buff as well. So if you want access... Let's just look at this again for a second. Support incantations. If, if you want access to Order's Blade, you'll need to raise your int to 13 or, or use an accessory that takes your int to 13. If you want to en enchant something like a... Claim or so, for example, with holy damage, or or you can just in a pure faith setting do dragon bolt, which also puts a pretty nice buff on your weapon. But I'm not using a buff of a weapon because this weapon deals fire damage innately, so it can't be buffed. Uh, so if you look at most colossal great swords, like for example, grafted blade, it goes one two, three on the rotating attack. And most, most if I was to use Malaketh's Blade, uh, I think it's a bit faster, but it's, a, it's about the same animation. Swing, swing, swing. What's cool about the Godslayer's Greatsword is it isn't much slower than a regular Greatsword, yet it's a colossal weapon. Swing, swing, swing much faster than other Colossal options. Uh, it gets a meaty overhead. It gets a dash back into meaty overhead. At, at, with our stat line, it reaches 800 AR right now. So I switched to my Claw Talisman. Let's pretend I'm about to clear out this level. I would fire on Blessing Spoon. Give myself Golden Val. For the next minute and 45 seconds, I am buffed. This weapon's hitting 920 AR now. Super good. Uh, and if I was going to head into a boss room, I could chug a mana pot. Stack flame, give me strength. Boom. Now that but that's a short buff, but they definitely stack. I'm up to 1104 now, attack power. But it's not very practical to walk around the level with that with the flame-based one. It's uh, super cheap. And then after you're fully buffed up, you can always rest, you know, get all your mana back, and head out into the level. And you you were still we're still buffed here. So that's kind of the bread and butter 
really for for paladin builds just that buff yourself buff your homies and i think this weapon is super cool like i wanted to show it off because i was like wow that's almost like a regular great sword there's spreading attack super good so it gets the perks of being a colossal weapon like if you slam the ground near low poise opponents they will stutter and obviously it really smokes boys um, it's just a really solid colossal great sword i really like this weapon i think it's super super cool and like looks looks good for a paladin setup jumping attacks also very clean and then finally you uh, and we need faith to wield this anyway so it makes sense for a paladin build and then finally its ability is like it can hit on that swing it can hit on that swing and now i can do a second swing and as you can see the damage is whew, pretty spicy i would actually recommend when you break poise with this setup you don't go in for a stab instead you use this try to get off a full combo with the charge now my spells have worn off blessing spoon Golden Vow. Cool. Rebuffed. Moving on. Um, it's guard counter animation is also an overhead. It's really nice. Whoa. It's a really nice colossal sword with really high damage output. And you can try to combo see if I can pull it off without getting smoked by a million spells. Nope, probably not. You can see my HP is ticking back up because of my other my other miracle, which is cool. So now I'll try to combo this. Well, we almost killed him, but it definitely did not display what I wanted to. Oh, he's an answer so nasty when there's two of them and one of them is throwing discs at you infinitely. Alright, one on one now, baby. Ah, well, if he hadn't come in, I, it would have actually showed off what I was trying to show off if the other enemy hadn't aggroed from another planet and decided to run in and explode on top of me. Very unfortunate. The regular mobs here aren't really high enough health to withstand the combo. But anyways, all I'm trying to display you know, I, do, I don't know. Golden Vow. Boom. Blessing Spoon. And then you can man up and you can always just have urgent heal on tap too. Like, uh oh. I'm in trouble. Urgent heal. <laughs> does exactly what you what you'd think it do does. The ability is quite really devastating, and if if you hit that full black flame combo, you you would deal roughly four thousand damage if all three hits because it is a three hit animation hit. Uh, that's all. I think I've done a pretty good job showing off that weapon. I, I it seems to me to be a cut above the other colossal swords. I was kind of thematically like, ooh, what about the royal great sword? But even it has a much slower, he's really meaty. I can barely handle my weapon animations, which are fun, but I like this better. That's this, this animation, other than the incessant hitting of the ground, is, is not really that different in speed from just a regular old greatsword. So yeah, I think it's neat. Anyways, uh, I think that covers everything. If there's a cool miracle I missed, let me know. And uh, let me know if you have any sort of interesting weapon choices that are a little outside of the outside of the box. But you could use any weapon you like with this. And again, if it's a regular weapon, just throw on a weapon buff like the Thunderbolt. Or you could put a little bit of int into the character if you want it to be a Holy Blade. Which is particularly good against uh, Death Birds and other undead enemies. And of course, you could always just use Grease as well to, to buff. I mean, 
that's what it's there for. But I, I don't know. I always hate using limited resources to, to try to keep buffing my weapon. Anyways, let me know if you have any uh, cool choices I didn't think of. But that's that's the build. Very effective. I've done extremely well with this build in, in, uh, in PvE. Thanks.